Guys, hello everyone, you are on the channel Zim Soul Vision and I recently posted a video with the unboxing of the budget Echo Sounder Lucky Fish Finder 11081. It really is one of the cheapest fish finders on the market and it's uh, certainly interesting what it can do. I don't have too high hopes for this device, but at a minimum it's should measure that well. Today we will check it out. Today I take this echo sounder and my operator Sasha takes a depth gauge, standard depth gauge, and we pass. We make a series of holes and check them. First Sasha checks them with an ordinary depth gauge and makes notes in a notebook. Then I pass with this echo sounder. Of course, we will take into account the error, distance from floor to sensor, but overall it's interesting to see how it turns out. Let's check out what this little echo sounder is capable of. So here we have a rather interesting place, ravine, and this ravine goes further into the reservoir. That is the different depths, there are various differences. And now I am doing a series of tin holes. We already have one hole and we will take it into account. Let's go. It will be interesting to see how the echo sounder will show both shallow depths and deep places. First, come on, maybe here. Second, we consider this as the third. Sasha, remember, you go first. Guys, let's start measuring the depth. The first hole and it's near the shore. We take here such a vintage depth gauge. Here is the first meter, here is one meter, so let's drop it, so, 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 second meter, third meter, everything, the load at the bottom, look it, yellow stopper underwater, it's about two meters and uh, two meters and twenty centimeters. Rewind the depth gauge and record the result. Yes, the first hole 220. Second hole. Here the distance from the coast is longer. I think there will be a depth of 3 meters. How much do you think it will be? Look. Yes, 2, everything. 2 meters, 90 centimeters. Guys, Sasha checked the holes, checked the depth, and now I simply press the button, realize it, and the echo sounder turns on. Here I will have 20 centimeters. It is at this distance that the echo sounder works adequately. I think that will immediately add 20 centimeters to the result, so as not to make unnecessary calculations. So. So, the first hole, zero meters, I drop the sensor, here the echo sounder renders two and one meters, I write two zero two meters, the first hole is two zero two meters deep, four zero five meters, write uh, four zero seven, look, there are fish here, dips uh, five zero three meters. There are a lot of fish here. Here you need to sit down and fish. It's eight meters here. And the last hole. You were eight zero seven meters. Well, yes, eight zero nine meters. The fish is in the grass. Guys, we're down. We measure the depth. First, we check depth gauge and then which an echo sounder. There was a nuance. 
our float moved up and because of this we had to measure again. But we are ready to announce the result. So duct gauge, the first hole, 2.2 meters, echo sounder 2.2, duct gauge 2.9. But here we did not measure the depth again in vain, 3.6 meters, 70 centimeters difference, third hole. Dubbed gauge 4.80 meters, echo sounder 4.7 meters, fourth hole, dubbed gauge 5.5, echo sounder 0.46, fifth hole, dubbed gauge 6.0, echo sounder 6.2, sixth hole, dubbed gauge 6.5, echo sounder 6.7, seventh hole, Dubbed gauge 7.0, echo sounder 7.2, eighth hole. Dubbed gauge 7.3, echo sounder first, 7.3, then we recorded 7.5, ninth hole. Dubbed gauge 7.9, echo sounder 8.0, 10 cm difference. And the tenth hole, dubbed gauge. 8.9, echo sounder 8.9. Of course, there is a difference on the second hole, but we did not measure the depth in it again. But in general, the difference is from 10 to 20 centimeters, but this is the distance from the float to the sensor. Plus, the echo sounder wire in the unveiled state has one Late. It is colder in the water, in the water it begins to twist and shortens. In my opinion, this budget echo sounder showed an excellent result. Therefore, this echo sounder is really something that you can buy in your kit. It is for winter fishing, despite the fact that it had a narrow beams of uh, 35 degrees, the echo sounder fits perfectly. A wired echo sounder is even better than a wireless one because you don't have to think about how to hook the transducer. A wire in the winter is very, very convenient. Guys, here are the result we got today. Thank to Sasha for being an operator today for winding a cold said uh, will I was just using the sensor. Well, in general, write in the comments what kind of echo sounder do you have and are you satisfied with it. Maybe you have the exact same model. Guys, if this video was useful and interesting for you, then like, subscribe to the channel. See you later.